When the British Royal Air Force was just beginning, two twin flyboys sought to soar above and defend the skies. But their first flight was quite a disaster. And they continued to crash. And crash. And crash. And of course, crash. Could it be possible that God would now use their special talents in the remotest place on Earth? Journey with us now to their island getaway to see what has become of the long-lost Banzai brothers and see the wonders that God can do. Hello! Oh, hello, mates! It's Colonel Banzai here. We are anxiously awaiting for Popsy to return from his long swim from Easter Island. Now, us Banzais made a lifelong promise to all protect each other from danger. So I sent Mumsy to one end of the island, and I sent Pepper to the other end to see if they could spot him. <laughs> oh! Oh! Now I think that's Pepper now! Oh! Oh my! Oh! Oh, everyone! Oh! Oh, look out! Look out, below! Oh! <coughs> oh, Pepper! Oh, say it isn't so. Oh, what happened to you? Oh, I'm you... over here. Oh. And why do all you bonsais like to hug rubber chickens? Oh, oh there it is. Oh, sorry, I, I thought that was you. Uh, are you okay? I am now, but I was just saved from a fate worse than death. Oh, no. Well, what happened? And, and why are you wearing a vegetable necklace? Well, that's part of the story. Oh, okay. You see, I was on my way to the beach to look for Popsy when I was captured by eight gigantic bad guys. <gasps> On our island? Yes. Oh. I think they crashed their boat running from the law. Oh, well, well, are they still here? I'll get to that. Okay, oh, okay. so, um, yeah, I was flying, and I noticed the fire, so I thought it was Popsy signaling for rescue, oh. and I flew down to get a closer look, and they caught me in a net. Oh, no. Well, yes. Well, how did you escape? Uh, well, well I, I, I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, they wanted to eat me. Yeah, see, uh, uh, and I'm quite tasty. Oh, that is you true. Know, so they, they, uh, they seasoned me and mm -hmm. covered me with all these vegetables, and they put this big pot of boiling water on the fire, and I was just seconds from becoming pelican stew. Yes, yes, but, but how did you escape? Well, that's the good part. Okay. I started to, to pray, and, and then I heard this voice say, Unhand that pelican, <gasps> you scallywags. And it was Popsy to, to the, the rescue! rescue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's right. He jumped on the bad guys and wrestled them to the ground and tickled their bellies. All eight bad guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's my Popsy. <laughs> yeah. He was getting the best of them, too, until one of them picked up a lug and hit Popsy over the head. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, Fortunately, well. you bonsais have very thick skulls. Oh, that is true. Yeah, and then they overpowered him, and they were about to tie him up when I heard this high-pitched voice say, Bonsais to the rescue! <laughs> oh, oh, Mumsy to the rescue! <laughs> you got it! Yes. Mumsy came flying in and started kung fuing everyone in sight. Oh my! Oh, oh well, how did you escape? Well, well, and then, they, and then they, then they pull out their swords, oh. and they were about to turn Mumsy into Swiss cheese when all of a sudden I heard this, this jungle cry like this. Oh, 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 oh. An 800-pound gorilla dropped from the skies and started bopping the bad guys on the head. And then just then, Chauncey crashed into them. Oh and, and, and he took their swords away and radioed the Coast Guard. And then they came and locked them up. Woo! Your oh, family man. rescued me from the jaws of death. Hey, well, Pepper, us bonsais took a lifelong pledge to always rescue each other from danger. <laughs> well, you sure kept your word this time. Oh, yes. Oh, that reminds me of a time that Jesus rescued a boy from death. No. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, I'll show you right now. Oh, well, I love adventure stories. Oh. Read it to me, big boy. Well, let's get the Bible out. <laughs> I believe in miracles. Okay, uh, here it is. Uh, one time, when Jesus was in Cana, there was a royal official who had a son who was very sick, and in the town of Capernaum, uh, he went to Jesus and said, begged him to heal his son, who was close to death. The royal official said, Sir, come before my child dies. Oh, no. Well, well what did Jesus do? Uh, well, Jesus replied, You may go. Your son will live. Well, what did the official do? Uh, well, the Bible says that he took Jesus at his word and left. He just left? He left just like that? 
just like that. And, and on his way home, his servants came running up to tell him that his son was alive. The boy was healed. It was a miracle. A miracle. A miracle. But that's not the best part. There's more? <laughs> there is more. The father asked what time his son had been healed. They told him, and the Bible says, then the father realized that this was the exact time that Jesus had told him, your son will live. So he and his all his household believed. Wow. <laughs> So Jesus was a rescuer and a man of his word. Hey, well, where do you think we bonsais learned to be so trustworthy? <laughs> Jesus only had to say the word and it was done. We can always count on Jesus to keep his promises. And when the man's family saw this miracle, they all believed in Jesus too. That's <laughs> incredible. Oh, Peppa, you said one of us bonsais' favorite words. I know. Let's all say it together, kids. Here we go. It's incredible but, but true what, what the God, God of wonders can, can do. do. Oh, so long, kids. We're going to keep the Jeep and get the conquering heroes. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Come on. Hey. Hey.